Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Craft or Crap. I'm Zach. I'm Paul. Today we are going to bring cider, cider into the world. Don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, with that all out of the way, let's get into the review. Um, we have two great ciders today. One from a local brewery here in Massachusetts. And the next one we're going to try is from a company called Moonlight Melody, which sounds very good. This is more, the Moonlight Melody is more of a cider wine, which is interesting, has a higher alcohol content. Right. But today we are going to talk about Night Shift's Golden Delicious. 5%. I know um, Night Shift does offer quite a bit of ciders to try. Um, they're in their Hoot collection. Um, <laughs> this is not in that collection. This is an original Golden Delicious hard cider. Nice. So we are going to try that, and we yeah. will definitely let you know how it is. Yeah. Hashtag share the night, it says on here, you know? Let's try it. You know, it's it's very cidery. Um, yeah, it is. You it's can definitely taste the um, the apples in it. It's green apples, yeah, for sure. Um, definitely. Not overly sweet apple. It's not. Good. It's not very sweet compared to a lot of the other ciders that I've tried. Um, definitely very. Um, it's a very bland. You you taste the apples, but they're not very. It's more of a tart apple flavor to it. It is. It is very good. Um, definitely not something that. I would normally buy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm more for a lot of the sweet um, ciders yeah. and Me not too. very tart on the cider yeah, aspect see. of it. You know, Night Shift does put out a lot of um, a lot of great um, can artwork. Yeah, it's one of the I've seen this brand things before. that really catch me. Yeah, um, every time I go into a store and I notice Night Shift, it's always the can art. So definitely give a, a, a good rating on the can. Um, Attitude, you know, yeah. I definitely put this at a at, at least at a 7.8 overall on the can for the, the overall can. can. I've had a few ciders, and this one's not as sweet. I like the sweet stuff. Yeah, I like but, the I, I do like the sweet stuff. But if you um, like green apples, it's got the green apple taste. I'd it's say. got the tart taste to mm. it. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Like I said, not something I would typically uh, pick up in the store. I'm, like I said, I'm more of a, a, a sweet apple fan. Yeah, it's not bad though at all. Definitely, definitely not crap. Not crap, yeah. What's I definitely, your rating? I, I would rate this at a uh, at a 6.3. Mm. Mm. I'll give it a solid 6. 6. I'm not going to go out of my way and, and seek this again, but it's good. It's good. I'll drink the whole thing, you know. It's good. I do enjoy it. I like ciders. Both hard and, you know, regular cider. Especially this time of year, where we're experiencing the yeah. fall, it really brings back some memories when I was a kid. Yeah, you like ciders you know, more. Um, you, you, he likes the ciders a lot. Going back to apple picking, you know, you always had to have the cider donuts. You always oh, had yeah. to have the apple cider before you left the place. Mm -hmm. uh, excellent. And then as you get older, you know, you want to experience more with um, the hard ciders and yeah. find out where those are. Absolutely love it. Yeah, definitely. The the next one that we're gonna try is this Moonlight Melody. Let's see. It's Moonlight thirteen Melody. five, oh. which is a thirteen and a half alcohol. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> by Let's volume. Try this. I'm telling you, it's as I said oh before, god. it's more of a, a a cider wine, which is is new. I, I never even heard of this. I'm trying to figure out wow. where they're they're from. Oh, it looks like they're from New Hampshire, another nice. New England state. Okay. Freshly pressed, impressively rich apple with honey, natural sugars, uh, conditioned in previously used barrels. It's on the sweet side. There's a dry and sweet side. So let's let's give this a try. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I gotta crack one first. Wow. Um, cheers, my friend. Oh, see, this is really good. This I love. So I this, love this, you can taste a little bit of the apple, 
but you can taste a lot of white wine in this. Yeah. It almost tastes like a, a, a decent Chardonnay. It definitely I'm going like a a Sutter Home White Zinfandel is what this tastes like to me. I love White Zinfandel. Yeah, yeah. White Zinfandel. Okay. Is super sweet. It's very sweet, but I love um, that. It's definitely a sweet, sweet cider. Um, if you're looking for that nice, crisp apple taste, yeah, this is a sweet apple taste. I definitely yeah. would not recommend this. Um, if you want to try something that's more out of your comfort zone, that you like the hard ciders, you also maybe like a wine drink or two my wife is a big wine drinker um yeah. i think this would be a perfect one for her she likes the hard ciders but she also likes wine yeah my so fiance I, would love this too they, i, I think they would really like this um it's delicious you, know, I, you can definitely taste the the apple flavor to it but you can also taste the wine so if you're yeah. in the store and you're looking for more of a cider feel for a nice crisp fall day not one for you um but if you're looking for something a little different to try and you enjoy cider you enjoy wine perfect for you but you would never ever know that there was a 13.5 percent alcohol in this you'd never so this will sneak up on you right oh absolutely a few, i don't take a few stuff. of these yeah you'll be on the ground yeah, i do taste alcohol but it's not 13 percent i'm tasting you know no mm -mm but super good i love it so this is awesome thank you for bringing this one yes it definitely um like i said brand awesome. new to me flavor that i like uh, i definitely am a, a white wine drinker as as well i would drink this again um i definitely would yeah. i can see myself on a, a fall day my wife and i sitting out on the patio definitely could be drinking these moonlight meadery new england style honey apple wine 13.5 is the brand. 13.5, yes. Not bad, definitely not, bad. not crap. Not crap, not crap at all. I love the packaging though too. The packaging is really good. Yeah. It's it's almost like you are apple picking. There's exactly. a guy picking an apple <laughs> exactly. on the front. Yeah. It yes, is there's. awesome. When I was a kid, picking apples, yeah. it just really brings back some nostalgic This for almost me. just tastes like regular cider. It with, does. You know. It does, but it's got thirteen percent of alcohol in it, you never which is which is crazy, and you'd never know it. <laughs> yeah. You never know it. I I definitely give the can a solid seven. Yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Seven. And 7. um, point five. Yeah, overall taste, um, definitely would give this. A, I'd probably say a seven point four for the. I'm going higher with it. It's definitely. Oh, you're going an, higher. It's an eight point. One oh, for me. eight yeah, for you. I would, I would get this again. Eight. Okay. You know, I've had more ciders that tasted like more like night shift. You know, I definitely yes. I've, I've had a ciders. lot of I've had a lot of hard ciders that would taste more night yep. shifty. So which one of these was a uh, pick from your fiance or your wife? My wife. It's not fiance anymore, <laughs> sir. It's wife. Definitely the moonlight. This is what she picked. <laughs> well, that was a good pick. Oh, that's because it was wine oriented, right? Yes, yes, mm. definitely wine orientated. You know, like I said, she likes the wine. Yeah. Another good. We didn't review it, but uh, another great cider brand um, is definitely Down East Cider. They're right out here in East Boston, which isn't too far from me. Uh, if you're looking for more variety of ciders. Uh, you know, they have a lot of seasonal. They try different things all the time. Down East Cider, right here in East Boston, very close to me, is a great cider company. They do different varieties all the time. They have their original blend. Um, they have one now because it is it is fall. It's called the Cider Donut. And who does not love a great cider donut? And... <laughs> yeah. One of my it's favorite good. fruits is blueberry. Yeah. And they have a blueberry cider, which is top notch. Mm. I love it. Flavors are unbelievable. Then like an angry orchard or something. Then an yeah. angry orchard um, yeah. or any of the other ciders. Definitely out of the ones that we've tried tonight, I still pick down east. But this was really good. I'm, I'm glad you yeah. enjoyed it. See, yeah. we're all about trying different things. Yeah. The the whole meaning that we're trying to get past is is so you as a, as a consumer take this and maybe jump out of your comfort zone a little bit or maybe you've never heard of these two 
companies and maybe you want to give them a try right um i am definitely one that i'll give anything a try once uh i, I love it and this is just so, something that i enjoy doing i love it just as much until next time guys you can catch us in this backyard by this fire enjoying a couple new beers each couple time. of beers yeah or ciders you know happy fall everybody happy fall take care take care get the fuck out are you guys all finished I'll i fucking it. hate the both of you get the fuck out are you guys all finished I'll i fucking it. hate the both of you Get out of here. We're almost done. <laughs> get out of here. No, get out of here.